Hey guys, today I am going to talk about collecting with a significant other and how much more fun it is. So my entire life I've just been really collecting by myself, uh, even when I've been in relationships. Uh, it is, I don't think I've ever had a girlfriend who really collected. I had one from Japan and during the time we were dating in law school. Uh, she would actually go to Japan to try to find me some magic cards. It was, uh, I remember pulling a Japanese foil new Phyrexian pure steel paladin from a bunch of packs. So she did buy a bunch of packs for my birthday, just random stuff, but it was really good stuff. It was uh, new Phyrexia. That was the set at the time. So that was during the first, no, the second year of law school. Uh, but she really didn't collect. She didn't really know what she was looking for. And uh, so I haven't really found someone who shared a hobby in collecting, and I'm going to tell you why it's so much more fun and uh, so much more interesting. So when we opened boxes, we uh, we had the hurricane here. We we're without electricity for some time. When we open boxes, it's a lot more fun to open the box with someone that you care about and love and share the hobby of hitting a good hit. We actually opened half a case, um, and we got one Sylvia, which is you know, one of the worst cards you can get. Uh, we opened some trial decks and so on. Uh, I think it was, what was it, 12 different trial decks and they, everything was sealed, uh, a brick, right? We, we buy from the same guy online. It's, it's a pretty reputable guy and we didn't hit uh, anything, but it was fun nonetheless to look at the artwork, to organize the cards. He has a little binder of her cards. Um, these are the high end cards. But she has a little binder of her cards um, and the hits that she's actually gotten. Uh, for me, it really is a fun, fun activity to do. It's much more fun when you do it with someone else than when you do it, you know, by yourself. Um, and it's fun collecting. You know, I've never really collected with a significant other before. And I think it's probably because they tend to like fashion. I remember one of my girlfriends uh, she was trying to, you know, she was really big into fashion and probably her explanation to me about fashion was similar to my explanation about uh, cards, like why she liked it, why she needed so much many dresses. And so when I explained her, oh, cards go up in value, she's like, oh, these dresses go up in value. And I didn't really get that, but she probably don't understand. Anyway, my point is when you have somebody and you do share the same hobby together, it's really, really nice. Uh, we have, um, her, and her nephew, who is going to be a junior, he also likes Weiss. So it's a, and, and he lives with his grandmother, which is my girlfriend's aunt. And whenever he's in school, sometimes as, as a treat, we take him to game stores. We, you know, he, he likes Weiss play mats because there's specific ones that are available in English that are not available in Chinese. So when he goes back to China every year, for summer vacation, he it's kind of like a cool thing he, he can do. So back to my initial assessment as like collecting these cards, we've gone pretty deep. Like if you don't collect Weiss, um, you know, like these are 300 a pop without before tax. This is a BGS 10, this was over 300. This was 300 or 200 and something. Um, what other higher end cards? Uh, without exposing too much of our position, we have a big plan for our, no, we have a big plan in mind. And uh, we had this idea. So my friend, he's a doctor and he has a son and his idea is to buy a Brandy uh, a McAllen every single year for his birthday. And then when he turns 18 or uh, turns 21, he his idea is to gift all these McAllen. So he's a giant wine seller. I, I don't know. I, I know I've taken wine classes. He's tried to educate me on it. I still can't tell the difference between good wine, and bad, bad wine. I mean, some wine is, or it, you can tell, but I don't know why this one is like a hundred dollars and this one is a thousand dollars a bottle, right? At that point, it tastes kind of similar. But back to the idea I have in uh, in the re reality of collecting with somebody. Um, you know, people ask, "Oh, whose money?" It's my money. All right, I I make more money, honestly, in. Uh, it's okay, we collect together. And the idea is to collect um, a set every single year. And this year we're collecting two sets, right? Or it should be pretty obvious which two sets we're after. We're after uh, the Oshinoko, which I have another Oshinoko here somewhere. Oh, there's the Ruby. 
Well, the Doshino Code set, which has an English version, yes, an English version, right? I'm also going to pick up another copy of this. This is the first card I've ever pulled from Weiss. I pulled it out of a pack. I didn't understand why the signature people were like, oh man, it's a great hit at the time. It was 2017, 2018 when I still had my local game store. And this guy wanted to trade in Weiss. And at that point, things were going really well, this pre COVID. I said, all right, just, uh, you know, trade me those boxes and stuff. Trade me this case, and I'm just going to rip the case and see if there's something here. And I ripped the case, uh, and it was one of the bigger hits at the time. So I'm always going to have an attachment to this particular card because it's my first Weiss card. Um, we opened it. I don't think it was first pack. It might have been, like, it was very early on, and he told me to stop opening because there was no other hits. Like, there was no nothing going to be better than this. And I was like, no, nah, I'm going to keep opening. And I hit another one of it, but it wasn't signed. And then they had to explain to me that this fake signature, so it's not even, like, a real... So when I think autograph, I think sports cards, was actually worth a lot of money. So, so the guy tried to explain it. He wasn't, like, very elaborate. I didn't quite... Even when he did explain, I didn't kind of understand there was such a big difference between those two cards. So I actually have the other card of this that I hit. I think it was in the same box, maybe? It was, like, a double R or a triple R. I, I don't know what it is. But um, same artwork. It just is not shiny and doesn't have the gold sig. And I'm like, oh, well, this is the same artwork. It must be the same. Because in Magic, that's what you're thinking, right? Oh, it's the same. Why, why would a fake signature be that much more valuable? You look at art cards and so on, it's just not. So anyway, back to my point. Um, that's kind of my goal is to complete the secure. I don't know if this is coming out in English. I've not heard news. I tried to Google it and to my knowledge is not coming out in English. That this might be that certain Y sets are Japanese exclusive. This is the 25th anniversary set. We are well on our way. Actually, I picked up a very important piece two, three days ago. It was like the promo version, the Catch Me If You Can promo, which is only given to winners of the tournament, which I assume was in Japan. So you had to like win something and there's only so many promos to go around. So I was able to get, in fact, many people think there's less promos available than actual like SSPs. But the set, um, so that's just kind of a side quest, uh, if you will. The set that we're trying to complete is Oshino Ko, which comes out in English in November. Mm, if we can complete the Japanese, that would be great, but it's not like a super prior. I mean, we're going to complete it. It's just not like a uber priority at this moment in time. So anyway, that is what we're doing in Weiss. It is a lot more fun to collect with a significant other than collecting by yourself. You get much more enjoyment from it and understanding we eBay auction. We go on eBay and we buy a shit ton of these things because like it's impossible to pull. What we have come to the conclusion, and this is kind of the beginning of the player, right? You come to the conclusion that, holy shit, man, these things are like really, really hard to pull. Um, and even if you pull them, like we open half a case of this, you, you get like the worst one. And this is a really bad feeling because you know that there's only another SP. I, I don't know what the exact, maybe there's two in the entire lot and the entire other boxes. The same when I did FGO, I pulled my first two SPs, which there's only two SPs in an entire case of 18. I pulled them within the first three boxes, something that has never been heard of in whatnot history, right? And whatnot, it's always the last boxes are the SPs so they can raise the price on them, right? So anyway, guys, 